That was another study that we also uh, published on using the National Cancer Database. And um, one of the powers of having a national registry is you can study things that maybe aren't most commonly done, um, but because you have data from a very large scale repository, you can assess kind of um, whether there's significance um, and, and a benefit of different interventions. So we looked at patients who were diagnosed with stage four breast cancer, so de novo stage four breast cancer patients. And we looked at patients we stratified by patients who were oligometastatic and patients who had metastasis to many sites, who were diagnosed with metastasis to many sites. And we were interested in looking and seeing whether there was a survival benefit associated with surgical resection in those patients, particularly those with oligometastasis. Standard of care for patients with metastatic breast cancer is not surgical resection. It is systemic treatment regimens. However, there is some interesting research in those that have very limited metastasis, such as to um, the liver or individual metastatic sites in the lung, is there a benefit to surgical resection of those sites as well as surgical resection of their primary tumor? Should we try to proceed with curative intent? And we found that there was a survival benefit, particularly in patients who had limited metastatic involvement of their breast cancer to either only the liver or only the lung. Um, and you know, this, this contributes to, to the literature kind of surveying the utility of surgery even in metastatic cases of, of breast cancer. And um, you know, we see parallels uh, with kind of guidelines that have been implemented for um, colon cancer with very limited metastasis to, to the liver, um, oftentimes uh, we try to use surgery to proceed with curative intent in these patients. And there's the possibility that in oligometastatic cases for breast cancer, we can see potentially a similar thing, but more research is needed on that area, particularly prospective trial research versus retrospective research.